What's up guys, Radioactive Blue Gaming here, welcome back to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be checking out these guided missiles. That's right, guided missiles and Stormworks. We have checked out some guided missiles before, but that was like a really long time. Like This is a very fast missile, this one was a missile I found, this one was um, on the workshop. That one was also in the workshop, but, you know, stuff. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this episode of Stormworks, and, you, uh, and make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and turn on notifications, notification bell, there we go. It would really help out. Anyway, let's get straight into the guided missile testing. It's like a missile guidance system. I think it just locks onto the nearest object. Right, let me just test it real quick. a lot of engine power wait a second I need to find the target location oh here we go it's not there We launched, sort of. Anyway, let's um, reset the mission. I have set a bit of a target out there. This thing's like a pain in drive. Two brakes. Oh no, okay. Distance the target, let me check. check that's valid. Probably is get tree up. I need set fire. Up. It completely missed. What is it even aiming for? I think we might need to find this in a completely different location. Wait, let me just teleport as close as I can. To this fishing boat and we'll have a very long range missile strike. Set it basically right on top of me. And here would be a good place. Oh, 
Yeah, the missiles are very interesting. I haven't really been able to get them to work though. I think now I might be able to get them to work. Get them to work. Now I'm like really far away. Because the radar system should be able to pick one of them up. This is like a mega missile. Up, breaks to the A, raise missile. There we go. Oh, gee. It's very hard to get up on top of. Did it say about 300? Okay, 300 to go to altitude. Let's turn on when taking off. Thing has a lot of engine power. Whoa! <laughs> Speed boost, turn that on anyway. It should detect the target soon. Maybe it's our target, like. My target's like all the way over there. Yeah, we are heading straight forward. Oh no, I think I may have detected. Oh no, please no. What has it detected? Oh, it's detected a shark, hasn't it? Oh, it definitely has. Oh no. Engine is still working. It's detected something, obviously. Yeah, it's detecting a lot of objects. I need to quickly click to the main menu. Was it the text? I'm pretty sure sharks and megalodons when you do fire with them. So in other words, I'm gonna have to. Oh no, I can't edit it from the screen. So as soon as I get hack again, I'm gonna have to turn both of those off. Wait, no, if you turn them off, they're just not gonna be in the game. So I'm going to have to set up a ship. Man, that's going to be a pain. So I'm going to set up a bit of a scenario for you guys. So you know what to do. If you do want to test these missiles out. Well, missile. Because. Make a lot of sharks. Playing damage. Perfect. Because I'm not sure what the text mission objects probably does though. Um, I'm going to have to move up. I need quite a big, that's not very, oh, technically has a very large silhouette. 
There we go. I mean, feel like it's easy to start up. Gonna lock with your map. Go inside. Deck lights. Bell lights. Why are we turning? Why are we turning? Why isn't the other one starting? Oh. Oh. There we go. That's a very confusing system. Follow the max. Need to get into semi open waters so I can detect easy. We are very close to. I should probably fire it from the Isle of Donk. Yep. Oh no, that's a reverse feature. Just stop the engines. Stop them. <sighs> Quick of math. Stop. Stop. Okay, we have our target location. Go to Isle of Donk and we should be on golden. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Full steam ahead. Get this um absolutely monster missile. That'd be good. Oh yeah, I need the ways to lock it. Lock it swings. Starter boost. I haven't put the coordinates in. Three hundred. Perfect. All that GPS information's gone up. Now we are fifteen kilometers away from the target. I have turned off both sharks and megalodons and we are going straight into the ocean again. Oh god, not again. Why are you doing this game? No! I turned on the speed boost, probably not that again. Can't we gaining altitude? Should be reaching optimal target locations. Oh, we've just gone right, but above it. Oh my! 
You've gone straight past it and straight into an object I don't even know. Is there like some objects under the map in the text? Because I think there is. Wait a second. Hold up. Because I can't see that. Wait a second. Because I can't... Don't teleport on the roof, yes I do. Man, I can't even hear anything with it. Oh, sweet Jesus, the boat's reversing. I thought it was way further out than that. These missiles are so hard to use, why can't it be like the SU-31 I think it was? Like that thing's missiles were really good. Huh? But now it's like the tracking is terrible, maybe I'm just not using it all right. Because huh? I sort of read the workshop description, especially for that one. Like I did look in the comments and it said sometimes the way that I locked on to a thing it wasn't supposed to. Breaks target. Oh yeah, that is definitely the target. My one. Like, there's an object I'm obviously not seeing. Like, cause... Oh yeah. Okay. I'm up a little. Is that good? No, nope, that just goes way too high. Like, the ship needs to be, like, way out. And vehicle. Because it still needs to gain altitude. And. Gonna place a vehicle all the way out here. Hopefully, still in render distance. Making it the biggest thing it possibly can be. There we go. Test. Well, there's two completely different objects. I think the way it are the Let me just clean up all vehicles. Now, fire. Sort of work. I need to turn it a bit more so it doesn't need. So I need to go into. It shouldn't be this hard to fire a missile. Maybe in real life it should, but not still works. Okay, we're just gonna walk back this up. There we go. Test thing. Now it should have plenty of time. Need to use this thing like from a kilometer away. Oh no. James way can tell if it's gonna hit. Yeah, it was steady. It's gonna hit. No, it barely missed. It barely missed. I need to back up a bit more so I can have a bit more targeting time.
Nah. So hard to control. No, stop the thing. To no, up a bit. Find a missile. Now the miss missile should have ample time to aim and to hit it. We hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Oh, we hit it, yes. Finally. 20 minutes of trying to hit something. Yes, let's do that again. Let's edit that a bit more. F. Perfect. Back that up like a bit. So we should have ample time. Aim up and fire. Oh no. Okay, this is like a very accurate missile. It's going in. Oh, we hit it straight in the bottom. The missile keeps going. Finally, it works. Yes. 22 minutes of you having to watch it and me having to figure it out. So now you know how to launch your very own missile. This isn't the missile I'm going to put in the link in the description though. You got a missile, I have no idea how I'm going to work it. Because that thing's very long range. I think it's more of a cruise missile. Like you should shoot it, shoot it at land, because the thing keeps dipping and diving. It never goes for the thing I want. It never aims for it. It just never seems to aim for what I want. And yeah, maybe I'll figure it out in another episode. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode of Stormax here. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.